Hi, I'm Andrea White and I'm from Graham Anderson and Eric Jenkinson's lab at the MRC Centre for Immune Regulation at the University of Birmingham. Today I present a protocol for deriving reaggregate thymic organ cultures, which can be used to study complex cellular interactions which occur during T-cell differentiation. Prior to the start of this procedure, embryonic thymic lobes were isolated and treated to remove all lymphocytes. This can be seen on a separate video. The A-lymphoid lobes are then disaggregated to produce a stromal cell preparation. And finally, the cells are reaggregated to form a reaggregate thymic organ culture. Let's begin. After five to seven days in culture, the lobe should be ready to disaggregate for stromal cell preparations. Submerge the 0.8 micrometer filters in a Petri dish containing RPMI 1640 plus 10% FCS. Using forceps, gently push off any thymus lobes that do not float off. Use a 1ml pipette to transfer the lobes to a 1.5ml Eppendorf tube. We recommend no more than 50 lobes per Eppendorf tube. Allow the lobes to settle to the bottom of the tube under unit gravity and remove the medium. Wash the lobes with 1ml PBS and then let the lobes sink to the bottom again. Repeat this for a total of three PBS washes. Remove the last PBS wash and add 600 microliters of a 0.25% trypsin solution. Place the Eppendorf tube in a 37 degree incubator for 25 minutes. Gently triturate the lobes using a 1mm blue tip on a pipette for 10 seconds and then place back in the incubator. After 20 minutes, pipette the lobes up and down to completely disaggregate them. It should take about 30 seconds to achieve a single cell suspension. Add 400 microliters ice cold RPMI 1640 plus 10% FCS to neutralize the trypsin and pellet the cells by centrifugation at 1000 RPM 10 minutes at 4 degrees C. Remove the supernatant and resuspend the pellet in 1 mil RPMI 1640 plus 10% FCS. If desired, count cells. Typically, we would expect around 50,000 cells per deoxyguanosine lobe, starting from an E15 thymus. Now we are ready to form reaggregate thymic organ cultures. In a 1.5 mil Eppendorf tube, Mix freshly prepared thymic stromal cells together with pre-selected CD4 positive, CD8 positive thymocytes. We recommend about a one-to-one -one ratio of stromal cells to thymocytes. The number of cells you will use will depend on the number of cells available and the experiment to be performed. We recommend at least 100,000 cells in total and no more than 1.5 million cells. You want the reaggregates to be large enough to be reproducible, but not so large that the centre will die. Pellet cells by centrifugation at 1000 RPM for 10 minutes at 4 degrees C. Assemble the organ culture filter. Carefully remove all the supernatant in stage with a P200 pipette. Vortex a cell pellet for 10 seconds to form a slurry. The volume should be around 1 to 2 microliters. Mouth pipette the slurry into a finely drawn pipette, keeping the suspension of cells at the tip of the pipette. Under our dissecting microscope, carefully mouth pipette the cell slurry onto the center of a 0.8 micrometer filter. Ideally, cells should be placed as a standing drop in a circle of 1 to 2 millimeters in diameter. If the slurry begins to spread out, allow the fluid in the slurry to drain through the pores before depositing the remaining cells. Place the dish in a plastic sandwich box and seal as for thymus organ cultures, and place the box in an incubator. Reaggregate cultures form into intact structures within 18 hours of culture. After four to five days of culture, they will generate both CD4 positive, 8 negative, and CD4 negative, 8 positive mature thymocyte subsets. Starting with 50 deoxyguanosine treated lobes should give enough stromal cells to prepare three to five reaggregate cultures. These cultures typically appear as coherent mounds of cells that can be pushed off the filters using forceps without disrupting them. We have just described the method in which to study positive selection 
by firing epithelial cells. This method can also be used to study dendritic cell mediated negative selection. Finally, by using TCR transgenic thymocytes or MHC class 1 deficient or MHC class 2 deficient stromal cells, this system allows separate investigations into CD4 positive or CD8 positive T cell selection. Thanks for tuning in.